Hi everyone and welcome. Previously we have uploaded few videos regarding how you can create your own virtual labs for Grafana, how you can set up your own virtual Linux server that you can access online in the browser. Also we have explained or created a video regarding how you can you know set up docker ready server using this virtual labs.online so you can directly install docker application in this server. So the same thing we are going to do in this video and in this video we are going to install this Fuxas Kira okay via the docker in our virtual lab and we are going to access this Fuxas Kira editor or you can see the Fuxas Kira um, web HMI from anywhere in the world using the public IP address. So if you go to the uh, Fuxas Kara GitHub repository and if you scroll down and here you will see uh, installing and running section. Okay, and we are going to install this Fuxas Kara and we are going to run this Fuxas Kara from the Docker. So here we have two commands to pull the Fuxas Kara uh, image. Okay, and then after we are going to run this Fuxas Kara image using this Docker command. So let's create a free virtual lab. Okay, so Docker ready virtual lab. So you have to go here and uh, we are going to select the latest version and we are going to subscribe now. Okay, we are successfully subscribed. Now we will click on this check details and we will wait for 90 seconds or two minutes to get the details of our virtual lab. So you can click here and uh, you can refresh at certain interval and once it will create a server for us okay it will create amazon linux server with pre-installed docker so you don't have to install the docker you don't have to set up your linux server anything okay so it will uh, give you everything pre-built and then after you just have to use this to command to install the fuxas kata and to run the fuxas kata so let me refresh it again yeah here you can see uh, we have created the server okay here is the username here is the password here is the public ip address and here is the web url to log into the server or you can say to access the uh, terminal of that server so i'm going to right click here i'm going to open this link in the new tab okay so it's accessible now now what we can do is it's a docker ready server okay so docker is pre-installed we don't have to install the docker so we just directly copy the docker command so i can copy this docker pull frango team fuxa latest and we can you know paste that command here and we can hit enter to pull that docker image okay you can see it is downloading and then after it will uh, you know set up the docker image for us okay all done so this command is successfully executed now we can run our fuxas kira so for that here is the command docker run okay it will run the port 1881 and the fuxas kira latest version we are going to run so we will copy this we will go to our ssh we will paste it here okay and then we will hit enter okay so it's running now if you want to access the fuxas kira editor or you can say the Fuxas Kata web HMI then from where you can access so for that you can see here we have the public IP address okay so I'm going to copy this public IP address and uh, I'm going to open a new tab here I'm going to paste that IP address and uh, if you remember then we have used port 1881 so I'm going to use port 1881 to access my Fuxas Kata you can see here is the Fuxas Kata and which is loading Okay, so here is Fuxas Kira uh, HMI screen and if I want to go to the editor then I can click on this three bar or hamburger menu and I can click on this editor and here is our Fuxas Kira editor to create our project and if you have successfully created the project okay then what you can do is you can you know click on this save and you can uh, save project so it will save the project and if you want to download the project then you can save project as and it will download that project in your system okay and after that you can again create free virtual lab okay and then you can upload this project here and then you can start working on the next thing of this project okay so if you don't have any linux server 
and if you want to build something on the fuchsia scada then you can uh, use this free virtual lab okay and you can create your docker ready server you can use this to command to install the fuchsia scada in that docker ready server and after pulling the fuchsia scada latest image and after running the fuchsia scada in the docker you can use this port number 1881 and you can use this public ip address to access your fuchsia scada editor and the web hmi so here you can see uh yeah you can see 3.80.209.185 colon 1881 okay because we are running our fuchsia scada on the port 1881 so that is why i have to use this port 1881 and here is my editor and if i you know drag and drop something here okay sorry if i drag and drop something here and if i save my project save project and i can go to the home and i can see that here okay and it's a live it's a cloud base you can access this ip address and port in your mobile phone in your tablet in your laptop in your desktop from anywhere in the world and you can uh, view this things from anywhere in the world for two hour okay so if you want to show the demo to your client or if you want to develop something and if you want to test that functionality in the phone in the tablet or in the desktop then you can use this virtual labs to set up the docker ready server and then after you can install the fuxa okay and then you can upload your project and uh, you can show your project to your client or you can do whatever you want to do okay so this is how you have to install the fuxa scada via docker and this is how you have to run your fuxa scada in the docker so this is the command docker pull frango team fuxa latest to pull the docker image and this is how you can run that docker image docker run d port is 1881 and we are going to run this image okay so i hope this thing is clear that how you can run the fuxa scada from the docker okay so you don't you don't have to install node.js nothing okay you can directly use this command to pull fuxa scada and then you can use this command to run fuxa scada that's it you don't have to uh, worry about versions and everything okay you can directly use it so i guess it's clear to you so let's meet in the next video okay with the new installation or something new with this virtual labs so stay tuned for the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you